Hi everyone, it is Candace, better known as Manic Makeup Mama. I am going to be, try to be, um, energetic today and give you my full enthusiasm. As some of you may know, I have had some like crazy issues going on with my eyes. I'm not sure what it is. Got medicine um, when I went to the doctor and then from there it's just still been hurting. So if you are the praying type, um, wish me well and good thoughts. I apologize. I am messing with my vest here because lately I have had the no makeup, my regular glasses. You will see that I might blink a lot and I'm just throwing on my camo and my black vest. So typically like to have more makeup on, hence Manic Makeup Mama, but I hope you bear with me through what we love to call Sample Sunday. Now, Sample Sunday is when I review all of the products I have tried from the week. These products come from subscription boxes. Not necessarily this past month, but could be like two months ago. Um, boxes like Birch Box, Ipsy, Glossy Box, Lip Monthly, and other boxes that I have received. So if you are interested in any of those boxes or hearing more about them, um, check out the links below. You will get a certain percentage off and or welcome gift for some of those. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead. Um, Sample Sunday, I usually use a bag throughout the week that we get in our boxes so that I am using them and <clears throat> making use. And I feel like I used the word use 10 times in that one sentence. But this is the March 2019 Ipsy bag that says, and off she went to change the world. Um, I've used this a few times. I, a lot of people have given really good feedback about just the rose gold color and um, of course celebrating Women's History Month. If I am thinking correctly, this is the last day in the month of March. So happy April, happy almost spring. As you can see here, we have some rainage going on um, in Pennsylvania. But enough of that, I am going to show you some of the products that I've used. So let's start with one that I kind of have mixed feelings about. This is the Jersey Shore Cosmetics Star Mint Glossy Balm. And if there was such thing as smell vision you would know that as soon as you open this bad boy, it has this very strong menthol mint smell. Um, not bad if you love mint, if you dislike mint, don't try this, I wouldn't use it. Um, but you put it on and it is very um, easy going on. I mean, it's a lip balm, but no, it is like this nice, smooth, um, creamy texture to it and it does smell and taste. That's what I wanted to say. It tastes like mint. So even right on your lips, I didn't get any in my mouth, but you're getting this fresh mint smell taste to it. This has all natural, non-GMO organic ingredients, including sunflower oil, beeswax, coconut oil, peppermint, and rosemary extract. So I like this. If you have received this in your, I believe it was the Ipsy, um, let me know what you thought of it. Would I go out and buy it? Probably not because I am not a big balm person, but do I think it's worth it? If you love chapstick and balms, definitely. Um, it does what it's supposed to, keeps your lips feeling moisturized. So it was a good product overall. The next thing that I have is the Mario Badescu Skincare Glycolic Acid Toner. Now, let me just um, take one second to read a little bit about this. It's an exfoliating and rejuvenating toner that is soothing and effective for dull, dry skin. It has grapefruit extract and glycolic acid to br break down the buildup of dead cells. Now, twice daily after cleansing, use a cotton ball. Right now, I'm a little bit red nick, so I just am um, using... Uh, tissue, paper, paper towel, whatever it may be, um, instead of the cotton balls. Um, just gonna, it has a scent, baby lotion. I don't know why, but baby wipes. That is the scent that I'm getting. And I wipe a lot of high knees, so I know that's the definite scent I'm getting. So it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell too, too um, intense or anything like that. Sometimes you get products like these and they smell like nail polish remover, but this isn't bad. Now, when you do put it on your face, which again, I am not wearing makeup. When you put it on your face, 
it is not harsh. It is not overly powerful. And what you can see is some of those imperfections in your skin. So sometimes you use like a makeup a remover and it'll take off the makeup, but your face doesn't look super, um, like, how do I put it? Like you have nothing on this kind of strips away. I think what it was saying, those dead skin cells and you see the redness and the uneven skin tone. So this toner, I think really helps. Would I use it again? Yes. But I, am I a, again, fan of toner? I don't know. What do you think? I like it. Do I love it? Eh. So the next thing is by My Clarins. My Clarins. This is a um, very tiny sample here. And look at, I kind of did my nails for you all. It's not perfection, but it's progress. Um, this is a night mask. So it's called Recharge. And let's do a sniff test and if we can. Again, this is really small, so I've used most of it up at this point. It's a little bit. Mm, this has a nice refreshing scent, kind of like a Dove hand soap is the best way I can describe it. So it is really like nice on the nostrils. Um, I don't know why I did that. I was maybe trying to give you the color of it. It's just a white color that goes on and smooths out to a clear tone. But this I liked. Do I know if it worked at this point? No, because it's so tiny. Um, but I feel like it gave my um, under eyes some hydration. So to be determined on whether or not I would repurchase that. The next thing I did use though, I used a few times. This is by Marcel. It is a Hydra C Eye Contour Gel Cream. Now this bright orange bottle here, I used every night under my eyes. Um, this helped, I think, decrease some puffiness. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a little bit, a little orange hue to it, a teeny, teeny bit. But when you rub this between your fingers, like so, it warms up. So you are feeling that, um, hydraulic acid, that toner working. And I think my eyes were definitely less puffy, but I'm going to come back to that because I have a theory which I am nervous about. So I like it. I would probably rebuy it pending some questions. I'm going to do reviews on that. The next thing I am so sad about how uncertain I am regarding it. This is the Amica, my favorite brand right now in 2019. Um, Reset Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. Now I used this. What I did was just cut the tip off the top. If you can see that, just cut that off and of course I love the smell I love the branding I think it's a really pretty packaging um, but it says purify purifying pre-washed and an oil to foam hybrid with pink clay that removes buildup so basically what you're supposed to do is massage into your dry scalp and then rinse follow with shampoo Amika, like, I don't know what to do with this. I put it right on my dry scalp before showering, like, all over my head, and then I kind of went like this, give myself a little scalp massage. I'm so confused. Ugh, did anyone ever use this? What are your thoughts, Amika? I'm sorry, but I'm just, it doesn't foam. Like, I thought maybe it'd give this, like, big full head of, like, bubbles and foam. It just felt sticky and confusing. Um, so I'm not sure there. The last thing I'm going to show you today is this Make P-R-E-M. Make P-R-E-M. I don't know, but it's a Hydrate Me Micro Tension Cream. I've been using a lot of these, so right now I have the cap off. But this is to, um, hydrate your screen. Scream, oh my goodness. Hydrate your skin. If you do not like ginger, do not use this. If you dislike the smell of ginger like you know when you open your sushi um containers if you eat sushi it smells like fresh ginger like I don't know why that is the scent of that cream but whoo this provides a burst of um hydration to your skin I love that let me pull it back out just so I can repeat that for you all the make p-r-e-m light weight lasting hydration for soft bouncy skin that is it right there 
I loved this. Apply a pea size amount to clean skin morning and night. Micro Trans Moisture, 7 Free System, non irritating. A whipped moisturizing cream with Arctic Raspberry helps to brighten and deeply nourish. That's the only thing that I think is false. It does not smell like raspberry, it smells like ginger. So, a lot of this bag this week that I chose for my um, samples was very skincare heavy. Now, my theory about that orange little bottle, it's not even a theory, it's just a thought. The Marcel Hydra C is that I'm wondering if this little bad boy is what has irritated my eyes. I don't know if maybe like I got it like too close to my eyes, if I was using it too frequently. I have to do some, um, some research on that. Have you used any of these products? What are your thoughts? I hope my sample Sundays are helpful. I hope that you are having a much more um, dry day than we are in Pennsylvania. And I can't wait to see you all soon. Hopefully feeling a little bit better. But love you all, my M&Ms. Bye.